Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. As if we haven't discussed these enough, right? Well, out of all the Ninja Turtles in my collection, we're adding four more. But these are based off of the art of Jim Lawson. And these absolutely rock. The box rocks, the artwork, the photos everything about this it's a solid release it's worth every single penny for 150 bucks from naked toys if you haven't gotten one if you want one get one it's awesome it is really really cool that you get all four turtles in those classic looks here's all the characters that have been released thus far some more on the way yada yada here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures so thank you very much for that and here's the barcode they're starting to hit target store shelves now when you open it up you get that cool mirage artwork backdrop landscape and you get to see all four turtles and every single accessory that they come with there's a lot in the box which is always pretty cool to see right so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new NECA toys the Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles featuring the arts of Jim Lawson let's check them out and while I got all you turtle toy enthusiasts here I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos now if you haven't already please do consider subscribing. I know we talk a lot about Ninja Turtles here, but they're awesome, right? Subscribe, hit the bell, yada, yada. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's everything out of the packaging in typical NECA fashion. You get the four turtles. You get a ton of accessories, all corresponding to little deep cuts and such, which again, NECA does oh so well. And I absolutely love Love it. Now, first and foremost, you get some throwing stars. They look like little miniature gears, to be honest with you. But those are them throwing stars from the comics. So you can have the Ninja Turtles holding them. They can fit between their fingers. It looks pretty rad. You do get an extra arm. And I know a lot of people are like, the heck is this for? Well, it's a bandaged arm. And it has the same type of articulation as all the other turtle arms in the box, right? This one in particular, I'm going to say... Hails from this particular scene where it's this turtle, whoever it may be, probably Raphael, wrapping up his arms and helping bandage his brothers, right? We'll just go with that. Now, you do get a ton of extra turtle hands, which you will use with each of the four turtles. You don't get four sets of each, you just get all these hands, which then you can use between all the said turtles. You get what I'm saying there. However, you do get eight bandanas, and four of which are different from the others, like the more over-the-shoulder type bandana. It's a nice red with all the black marks, and you get the more free-flowing bandana. Whether it goes up or down, it's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Both of them have four each, so keep that in mind when you're keeping them all together, right? Now, this in particular right here is a tunic, and it's so perfectly done. It's got some nice texturing. It's got that black comic book shading. It's phenomenal. Absolutely love it. If you were wondering, it hails from 1989, book number 19 for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Raphael is in the sewers trying to escape a bunch of foot soldiers. And lo and behold, he gets caught up into a mess of things. As a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle does. But I like that you can recreate that particular comic cover right but the big reveal of course being once the other ninja turtles finally end up finding Raphael, well he's got a little ace up his sleeve to go up against shredder and it's a giant triceraton of the sewers zog so if you have zog it goes perfectly with this version of Raphael. now you get a pair of nunchucks which is rad right those are pretty cool you can sling those around just don't hit yourself in the eye you also do get a pair of psi for Raphael. they look great they're painted beautifully they're just stellar all around all the weapons leonardo's katanas of course you get two of those painted nicely and likewise with donatello's bow staff it's largely brown it's got the wrappings on it a-okay number one right so you got the ninja turtles themselves now you got four brothers they're all the same body types. This one in particular being it's Michelangelo, right? Of course, he's got that grin on his face. That's Mikey through and through from the Mirage comics. The coloring is great. All the different comic book shading with all the lines. It's beautiful. Brings out Jim Lawson's artwork. He's got a little articulated tail right there, of course. 
kind of lose their tails depending on which iteration you're watching. But he's stellar. And he holds his nunchucks beautifully, right? You got a whole bevy of hands to go through, whatever ones you want to use. And right here, he does have a little bit of weapon storage. You can fit those into the side if you'd like. And they look pretty darn cool. Now, next up, we got old Donatello. And Donatello is sporting the more solemn face. And did I mention that it doesn't matter which head portrait you want to use? They're all labeled underneath. They'll have an R, an M, a D, an L. You get it. But you can swip swap them to your leisure. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever head on whatever body. But he does hold his Donatello bow staff pretty darn cool. And on the back side of Donnie, and that's how you'll know it's Donnie, at least for the body, he has the weapon storage for the bow staff. So you just simply fit that in. It slides in perfectly. It looks great. Simple, but so dang effective. And I absolutely love it. Likewise with Leonardo now, the leader of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hardcore leader for the Mirage line, right? But for Leo, of course, he's got the belts with the sheath for his swords. And those look phenomenal as well. They're painted beautifully, as you can see. You can slip the swords in there when you want. Peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Again, all the bodies are exactly the same, but the head portraits, the various belts and such, those will be the differentiation. He holds his katanas beautifully. Those look great as well. And like I said, with the weapon storage on the back, much like Donatello, he can hold the katanas in there and they fit beautifully. They look great straight from the comic books, which leaves us, of course, with Raphael. I didn't know there was a whole box of Raphaels, right? I think somebody wrote that on my YouTube once, right? <laughs> Why are they all red? When you have Raphael, you got to put him with Casey Jones, holding the side. He looks great. They pose well. That's a nice little team up right there. Now, I was thinking at first, I'm like, are they going to You put the, that's not really how it's going to go, right? The side don't fit in the side of the belt. Nope. They, in fact, fit beautifully right in the front, just as they are supposed to be. So that is killer. Well done. Love that. As far as the articulation goes, cross the board, the heads, up, down, left, right, nice ball joint, pop them off, switch them off. You can articulate the bandanas. Whether he's upside down, swimming, falling from a rooftop, it looks great. Get yourself a nice sturdy stand. These things are heavy, but you can swivel it around at your leisure. Now the arms, they will go all the way up. I would say, if anything, I had to heat up some of the arms, especially at the biceps. So go really easy at first when you're moving around. He's got double jointed elbows. He's got the wrist articulation, but just as I always say, go really easy with NECA turtles because you don't want to force anything. You kind of want to get to know the new articulation scheme, yada, yada. He's got a little bit of a waist to him, a little bit of a turtle shell crunch, kind of sort of. It basically moves. He'll kick off to the sides, splits, double jointed knees, don't force anything. Had no problem with the legs. The legs are pretty solid. The feet are solid. Everything rocks. Everything goes up and down. If these would have been pinless. Whew. That would have been extra awesome. But you can pull off all of the right arms. Just FYI, you don't have to do it for just Raph. All of the right arms come out. So you can swip swap it with whatever turtle that you want to apply the bandaged arm. But put it with Raphael because then, you know, it's comic book accurate. And once you got them all equipped with all their weapons and Splinter has taught them all nice and neat. And hey, you're ready to go kill Orokusaki for me. You can send them out. And uh, yeah, you can do just that. Splinter looks great with the turtles. He's a small little ninja rat master, and he looks great with these four bros, likewise with Shredder. So when you're on the rooftop battling, you come home and tell Splinter you did a good job, right? Leonardo looks fantastic going up against the Shredder. You hear the excitement in my voice. These are the turtles I've been looking forward to. And Donatello goes really nice with Professor Honeycutt, the Fugitoid, or... You could have Michelangelo fighting the Utrams in the TCRI building, not TGRI for those of you. And you got Batman, of course, if you wanted to do a TMNT Batman team up. Of course, that would come years and years later. But I got to point out the fact of the original look for the Turtles. Let's say issue one and then moving into Jim Lawson from Kevin Eastman to Jim Lawson. These are the two iconic looks for the Ninja Turtles. You can never change Eastman and Laird's art. But Jim Lawson's turtles have stuck with me years and years, and I'm so happy to have these. I can't even tell you. So these are my ideal Ninja Turtles. 
The sculpts are great, the paint is great, the accessories, the deep cuts, everything about the Mirage line is really coming together now that we have a new set of various artwork related to the Turtles, right? And I love seeing the artist's interpretation reflected in the sculpts. It looks fantastic. So for a look at Jim Lawson's early work, because if you look at his work now, it's gotten a lot more cartoony, but dang it all, these are just fantastic. I love the look for Raphael, Leonardo with the katanas, Donatello, the head sculpt, Michelangelo, mischievous. They're great. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage, Jim Lawson, Turtles. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it's the road to San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Can't wait to see what they're showing. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.